Come on in. Good morning and welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV. My name is Katie O'Neill and I am over the moon about today's video. Today we are going to compare the Superstar versus the Supreme Air bath and a half models. So we're in for a treat as usual. I like to start my videos from the inside out. Jody, please go ahead and take her on back. Uh, this is a 2023 Superstar 4059. Uh, this is a bath and a half model. Uh, this is built on the M2106 chassis. We're gonna compare this to M2112 chassis Supreme Air as well. So today's video will be quite uh, different than my normal videos where I'm measuring and showing inside of drawers and the like. The goal today is to show you the differences between the two coaches and talk about why you might want to consider one or the other. And this is a great place to start. First and foremost, this 4059 is quite a bit less expensive than a Supreme Air and it is super awesome. So take a look at this bath, this bathroom. So first of all, very nice porcelain toilet, Dometic. You've got your emergency exit, your egress door. You've got these great new flushes. So I love this flush system where you can actually feel up and down so you don't have to wonder where you are at night uh, when you're flushing the potty. You've got a robe hook here, a nice place for a towel hook, and this great separation here between the toilet and the shower. So if there were uh, someone taking a shower here and someone in the use of facilities, you've got that separation of space, which is really nice. Also, as you'll note, we have tons of headroom, overhead skylight. We've got our rain shower faucet. We've got our wand on a slide. We have our Aquaview shower system. Both of these coaches will have 150 gallons of fresh water. Both will have a 60 gallon gray water tank and both will have a 40 gallon black water tank. Both will also have Aquaview, which of course recycles your fresh water back into the tank until it's heated just with a little flip of a switch right here. So very, very cool system. Also, we're going to have this seat. The teak seat is an option in both of these coaches. This is a very nice feature. Now we'll talk about drawers here. So two large drawers. So these are a little bit wider. Single seat, single sink in the back. In the Supreme Air, you'll see that we have in-mirror lighting as well as a beautiful and roomy medicine cabinet. So everything in this Superstar versus the Supreme Air is luxury, folks. You don't have to buy a Supreme Air to get a very high quality RV. The big differences in these coaches is really going to come down to, there's our optional safe. We'll show the storage underneath. But towing capacity and power. So that's really gonna be the difference between these two coaches. Both of these will have a single sink in the rear as well as a very roomy half bath. This coach is 40 feet, uh, 41 feet, two inches long. I'm sorry, I'm not telling you the truth. This coach is 40 uh, feet, 10 inches long, and the Supreme Air is 44 feet, 11 inches long. So four feet, one inch difference in overall length. Both will have a stackable washer and dryer offered by Slendeed. A ton of room underneath for storing your Tide Pods and your dryer sheets. A very nice drawer that, or door that closes and separates from the bedroom into the rear bath. And both will have a very nice 72 by 80 king bed. This is an RV king. Some other features I like to point out that are a little bit different. Um, one of the features that we'll talk about, so both will have windows on either side of the headboard, but in the Superstar, you've got more of a manual approach. So you've got your day shades as well as your night shades, but these have to be operated by hand. In the Supreme Air, you'll note that they're going to be operated by a button. Um, in this coach, we have two 110 outlets as well as grommets here so that you can Go ahead and run cords underneath if you want to run a CPAP machine or if you want to run your uh, iPad or maybe your, um, your laptop at night, any of those things. We also have great under bed storage in both of these units. Both units that we have are looking at today will have the Euro dinette with the leaf extensions and the extra chairs. Both will have uh, places to plug in your phone next to the bed. The King Air is going to have a little bit of a different system where you can stow the cords inside the water cabinet. 
Um, in this case, you'd have to unplug it and put it inside while you're in transport and then take it back out. Uh, but other than that, pretty similar. Also, if you have to run a CPAP machine at heart level or below, plenty of room on either side of this bed. And again, both of these King Airs, or these King Airs, <laughs> both of these uh, Super C's will have uh, king size beds. That's what I meant to say. So we'll look at wardrobe storage here. Lots of nice wardrobe storage in the back of this 4059. Uh, this is the matte finish and the Newport glazed maple. Both will have solid hardwood uh, furniture, I'm sorry, cabinets. Both will have decorative lambrequins. As you'll see here, I also have deployed the carefree awning package, which is optional on the Superstar. Both coaches will have a 43 inch smart TV by Samsung. You will also have this beautiful decorated uh, ceiling with all of your ducting for your air conditioners inside. The 40 foot Superstar will have two air conditioners that are 15,000 BTU and two heat pumps. Another difference, this coach is running on hydronic heat. In the Supreme Air, you'll also have a standard heated floor. So a little different there. Um, both of them will be pre-wired with an HDMI cord to go to your television if you want to set up a PlayStation or a Wii, any of those things. And also, you'll note that both of them will have the slide-out controls in the bedroom. Now, when we're operating the lights for the Superstar, we're going to be relegated to these little KIB switches throughout the coach. But starting in 2023, Newmar added a 10-inch panel here in the center that allows you to have central control for all of your lights. So you can control everything here at the center of the coach. And also for 2023, you'll be able to turn on, we'll turn those on, you'll be able to turn on your lights and also look at your tank measurements, operate your HVAC via Bluetooth app on your phone. So this is something you've been able to do in the Supreme Air uh, with your Silverleaf system, but now in 2023, the Superstar gives you that same control here. Now you'll note that when we turn our lights on and off in these rooms, uh, it's great. Everything goes off all at once and I can turn all lights on all at once. So that's a big new change again for 2023. Also separation of space. Very nice fully extending door. So you've got that privacy between the bedroom and the galley. We're also going to have in both units our central back system, which is a great uh, kick plate as well as hose attachment. We'll have courtesy lights in both coaches. All of these things are things that make this RV really fantastic in a comparable market. So one of the biggest differences that you'll find in the way Newmar builds their coaches is they come from a class A residential style coach and they're able to take that and incorporate it into a Super C. So this is a great uh, blend for those of you that have enjoyed class A's in the past that are looking something that has, for instance, in a Superstar, a 20,000 pound towing capacity or in the case of the Supreme Air, a 30,000 pound towing capacity. For those of you that are looking for heavy haul towing, these coaches are both really, really fantastic in terms of form and function, but also in accoutrement in a way of they're decorated. So this is going to allow you to kind of straddle the existence of not only the Super C segment, but the Class A segment. Um, and then both of these coaches are also built on the star found foundation now the star foundation stands for strong true and robust and what it means is that tubular steel that they're using to raise the foundation of these coaches is also taking the heavier weight on these slides so both of these coaches will have a full wall slide now you'll notice in the superstar there is some degree of carpet so I want to point this out because a lot of people go, oh, I don't know if I want carpet in the coach. It's really just not a lot of carpet. But we'll look at the slide operation of the Superstar versus the Supreme Air today. And you can make that decision for yourself. Now in both of these RVs, we're going to have our uh, built-in cutting boards on top of our stove. And in both of these coaches, you are going to have the induction cooktop by True Induction that is removable that you can cook with outside. So this is a really nice feature because fast forward, pretend I've removed this and I'm making some bacon outside, but I want Stella to cut the strawberries and get, you know, get the mimosas ready and all that stuff. 
Well, she can still do that because our counter space has not been compromised. I can put those covers back on without the stove in place. Both of these coaches will also have the optional dishwasher. Now keep in mind, this is optional. If you prefer drawer space, you can have it. Also a very large, as you can see, uh, solid maple, full extension, soft close drawer. So both of these coaches have that benefit. Now keep in mind, in the Supreme Air, you can get a coach that's up to 45 feet long or 44 feet, 11 inches. In that you will have a little more space in your kitchen, space in your mid bath, things along those lines but a lot of these creature features that we're talking about are going to be very similar. So um, I have a lot of clients that do what I call top boxing, where they'll go ahead and assume that they have to have the biggest, the best, the most strong, and then it's too expensive and they're like, I can't afford an RV. Sure you can. Um, you don't have to top box yourself in the Newmar product line. You're going to get a very high-end coach regardless of whether or not it's got the DD13 which is of course going to have 1,850 foot-pounds of torque. Keep in mind when you're looking at these Renegade products that have torque ratings of 1850, they can get it through the DD16, they can get it through the DD13, uh, DD they can get it through um, the ISX. So there's all these different ways that you can get these engine ratings that we have in this coach. In the Superstar, we're going to have a Freightliner chassis and we are going to have an L9 or 8.9 liter ISL. This coach is going to have a 360 horsepower engine, but it's going to have 1,150 foot-pounds of torque at a 20,000 pound towing capacity. So that's a really good towing capacity. That's a lot of torque. And if you're comparing this against something like a 6.7 liter ISB that maybe you're finding in that new Tiffin that's out, or you're looking at a, a, a Valencia, getting into the Verona and Superstar level really makes a huge difference in terms of towing capacity. You go from 12,000 to 20,000 pounds. Keep in mind, the other big difference to these is that you have a cooled engine up in front of both of these Super Cs. So what that means is when your engine's working, the cooler it can stay while, while working, the less it has to downrate itself and the mo more capacity you're able to maintain going up those steep passes with a heavy load. So for those of you that are pulling a horse trailer, pulling a stacker, pulling your uh, side-by-sides, whatever it might be. If you want a coach that is capable, you could go with either one of these. But if you've got a really heavy stacker with a lot of downward weight, the difference between this coach, of course, is going to be that 20,000 pounds versus 30,000 pounds of towing capacity. We do you have a question? Oh, we have a question. Go ahead. Do you need a CDL? Okay, so the question that we have is whether or not we need a CDL. Here in Colorado, I have a 2022 Superstar. And because it's a residential coach that I use for a recreational coach that I use for camping, I do not need to have a CDL. In some locations, for instance, California, it would benefit you to have a CDL because you could actually have a longer rig if you were towing throughout that, that state. It's not an issue here in Colorado, but you definitely want to check in with the Department of Motor Vehicles to figure out whether or not you need to have a CDL in your state. Here in Colorado, the answer is no, you do not need one. Now I wanted to just show underneath here. So there's a ton of room underneath the sink. And there's also this really nice little extension for the counter. And you've got a great dual basin, residential style, stainless steel sink. So Newmar has been doing this for several years in the Superstar now. Um, great deep basin, removable spray and pour feature, very nice faucets. We've got the kitchen window in the back, which is also optional. So. This is a great, great feature. Now we are going to measure just the length. Don't worry. Jody told me that if I do a video over an hour long today, he's gonna turn in his two week notice. So I'm gonna go as fast as possible. 70 inches long for this counter. And just remember that number, we're gonna come back and do that in the Supreme Air as well. Tons of overhead storage here. Now do note, this is an optional setting. If you would prefer to have a couch or recliners, you can also do that. This is the theater seat option. And there are uh, USB ports inside of these little controls here. And then as you can see, these seats get really nice and flat. There's also USB, I'm sorry, USB ports. There's also uh, 110 outlets at the back of both sides of these seats. And there are seat belts as well. Your USB port is here inside to charge your phone. So you don't need that on the wall. And then there's a lot of room down here for blanket storage. So remotes on the top, or in this case, the plus, and then underneath, look at all of that storage that you have. 
Now, once again, big difference between these two coaches, manual versus power shades. But you will note that I have my carefree awning deployed in, uh, in this coach. So you can see those all the way around. These make a huge difference when you're camping in terms of keeping the sun out. In this case, I have both my carefree awning deployed and I also have one of my Gerard awnings. Now this does have the dual pack. I only have one out. It looks like right now it's kind of bouncing. So typically we'll have them pull in from the wind. Uh, but at least you can see here that we've got both of those awnings deployed. But if you didn't have your big awning out, you would still have sun protection. Now, one of the benefits of the Supreme Air is that you can adjust the height of this. These are going to have one specific height that they can be deployed to, so they're not adjustable. Uh, here again is that Euro booth with those two leaves that fit in there, extending this 22 inches, giving you plenty of room to seat six. I like that it has a nice little permanent uh, place here where you can keep your salt and pepper shakers. And then again, tons of storage up top. And then a Bose sound bar for your surround sound, as well as your pre-wire for your HDMI, both for inside and outside. This coach also does have the exterior television. Both of these coaches will have this really fantastic skylight window. Go ahead and put one of these down. Today, my goal is to kind of show you guys as much as I can between both of the vehicles and to show you the similarities and the differences. So we won't deploy this or uh, deploy the shade in the other one, but it is identical. So you can keep that sun out or you can keep that view open. You're also going to have all of this fantastic storage up front. So we love this. So lots and lots of storage in this coach. Uh, this, this portion of the storage is not to be forgotten about. In these Super Cs, you do lose space when you have these big cabs up front, but this is a ton of cabinet room. For anybody who's out there camping, you know that all of these little spaces, these little cubbies are actually so nice because they're small and individual. Now, another thing we should talk about is the texture of the furniture. So this is much more of a supple, uh, but more traditional furniture. I think you'll find that the soft touch in the Supreme Air is much more glossy and it's not as uh, traditional as you'll find throughout the other coaches. Uh, Numar does a really good job with their seats. They are air ride. Oh, I don't have the airbag on. Oh, I do, there it goes. So they are air ride seats. Now in both of these coaches, you're going to have a very unique characteristic to this cab. So you'll see this big black rainbow in both of these coaches. That is because in both the M2-112 and the M2-106, the cab is separate from the house and it is allowed to float. And this cab has an air ride component underneath it, keeping it soft and supple going down the road, allowing all of your wiggle and waggle to be only in the rear of the coach. So this is a very unique difference to this product. And that's gonna be in both of these products. Uh, both of these coaches are gonna have very nice air ride seats with armrests on both sides. So you've got your whole armrest. You've got a nice place up here to keep your uh, phone. Also big dash here, as you'll notice, there is nowhere for me to do my lip gloss. This is a huge complaint that I've had with Numar for years now. They do have this handy dandy mirror that points down and shows you the curb in both products though. And then you'll also see that we have this little guy here where we can actually drop our height so we can get our tow vehicle on. And in both of these vehicles, we're also going to have the 360 overhead camera. Now I'll tell you the backup camera is probably the thing that I use the most, but if you're trying to hit your picnic table, you can aim at it right there. Uh, now uh, here we've got our generator start, ha house and battery boost, our light test just to test all of our lights, and we can lock this one differential. So this is gonna be very different from what we have in the Supreme Air. In the Supreme Air, we do not have a passive tag axle that has a wheel that pivots on the back. We have two forward driving axles and the front axle is the one that will be driving most of the time, but you can engage that rear axle and you can actually lock them up and give yourself a lot of extra traction. So for anybody who's looking for a heavy haul load, this coach is more than capable for carrying anything up to 20,000 pounds. We're also gonna talk about GCWR and GBWR as well um, because those are big differences. So for instance, if you have a, uh, if you have a payload in this coach of 7,000 pounds, you're not going to be overweight. You're actually going to be able to still tow 20,000 pounds. And this is very different for a lot of manufacturers. 
Numar is very responsible when it comes to being able to maximize your weight rating for the inside of the coach and still having adequate towing capacity behind the coach as well. Same thing goes with the Supreme Air. The only difference is the Supreme Air has a 14,000 pound towing capacity in the coach, which means for those of you who like to carry your tools around, who've got a bunch of heavy stuff, that are also pulling a heavy sack or your RV can also hold the weight of some of those extra supplies that you might have underneath the belly of the coach. Okay, so Allison transmission, of course, we're going to have a 4000 versus 3200 MH transmission. We're also going to have our engine brake, which is going to have high and low. Uh, as you can see, the dash is fairly rudimentary as it changes for 2024. These buttons become less, but they become uh, they're still very similar to how they're upfitted. Um, I have a trailer brake to show you in the Supreme Air, so Jody, just remind me of that. But as you can see, a lot of this uh, componentry here inside of the M2106 is similar. Um, we also have power mirrors uh, that are manually adjusted here, as well as heated mirrors. And we have our cruise control as well. The difference between the Supreme Air and the Superstar, though, is going to be the Superstar is just a standard cruise control with no lane, uh, with no mobile eye. So if you're interested in mobile eye, it's something that can be added after fact. Or if you would like to wait for a 2024 model, mobile eye will become standard on the Superstar product at this point. Um, for those of you that haven't looked at my 2024 Numar Auto Show video, you should do that. Because if you do, you can see all the differences and decide whether or not you think the changes are necessary for you. Now we are gonna go ahead and pull these slides in before we head outside so we can take a look at walking room. So we're gonna have the same operational uh, features here. Numar does not like to have an app control slide system. They'll always have hard buttons. They consider it a safety feature. On the Superstar, we have electric slides on both the passenger and driver side or starboard and port. Where on the Supreme Air, we are going to have on the port side, a uh, hydraulic slide, which will allow us to have an all tile floor. So I'm just gonna close these up real quick, Jody, and grab my phone and head to the bathroom. Okay, so walking room here, really good, plenty of room, right? So easy to get into this mid bath. And in this mid bath, you'll see, uh, even though this is a short coach, a 40 foot coach, this has got plenty of room to it. So really nice space in here. Again, lots and lots of storage. Both of these coaches are going to be all electric coaches. Both of these will have hydronic heat. So that's going to be heat that can be run off of your 50 amp with AC1 and AC2 settings, or they can be run off of your diesel burner. So both of these coaches have a very nice capacity. I do really like this light glass tile behind this beautiful vessel sink in the center bath. I think it's super classy. And then we're gonna have three fantastic fans in this coach as well. These are all smart fans. And then of course we've got all, all of our plugs that we need for our flat iron or our, um, I guess, do I have to pull this one in? I might as well pull it in, huh, Jody? So like I said, folks, we are trying to get two coaches covered today. Uh, if you'd like to watch a longer video on these, uh, we have them uh, throughout the weeks. We do a lot of, uh, lot of Super C videos. But again, today's video is really just to show you how we're going to compare and contrast the space that we have here in the center of the coach. Also, some of the features that we have uh, between the two vehicles, uh, not just in horsepower or uh, engine capacity, but also, you know, the DD13, although it can tow, you know, 30,000 pounds, is it necessary? Like, do you really have 30,000 pounds to tow? Or if this is capable of getting you up and over the pass, would something that tows 20,000 pounds be enough for you? Because it's an awfully nice coach. And one of the things I wanted to point out too, now that we've got the slide in, is Numar uh, color matches the interior slides here. So when you open this up, um, I have one of the slides deployed on the Supreme Air. You'll be able to see how nice that looks from the outside. But you also have these self-locking slides, a really nice control center here hydraulic jacks powered by HWH in both, and they're also powering our exterior steps. So overall, just a super, super nice coach. And then we are gonna head out here. I'll show you the step cover in the other one. Jody, let me let you out first. And I'm gonna go to... Oh, sure, I can answer questions. 
Yes, I'll show you how to do that right now. Yep. So folks, we have a question. The question is whether or not you could open the fridge with the slides closed. And the answer is yes, you can make me a burrito or a sandwich for that matter. So you've got access to both compartments uh, with your slides closed as well as your freezer. And you can also vacuum and do dishes. Woo! So uh, for those of you that are tuning in and watching this live, thank you so much for your support of our show. Um, oh, Jody, last but not least, pantry. This is different, folks. So really nice pantry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven extendable drawers in the pantry. Um, so this is a really great pantry space, but it is when you get four feet bigger, a little bit larger in the Supreme Air. Uh, so these HWH steps, these are so nice. As is our famous doorbell. These are the things that you find on both of the coaches. Now, oddly enough, you have two saddle tanks on the Superstar. So two 50 gallon saddle tanks that are dual fill. On the Supreme Air, you have one 100 gallon tank. So both coaches have 100 gallons of fuel. Both have 150 gallons of fresh water. Both have a 60 gallon, 60 gallon gray water tank and both have a 40 gallon black water tank. Both are going to have side cameras. So when you turn left and right, you can see next to you. Both of them are going to also have that air ride cab. In the Superstar though, there's a button to turn that on. So you can hear that powering up. And what that's doing is that's airing up the front cab of the coach. In the Supreme Air, there's no need to turn that on. As mentioned earlier, when we talk about these exterior uh, covers for your windows in the carefree awning package, you can see there's a tether here that this is attached to. So that makes it so that your awnings are really, really robust. They're very sturdy, but they're also set at one location. Where, and we're gonna take a look at uh, the power shades inside the Supreme Air where you could actually change the pitch so they won't block your view theoretically. Uh, also here we have hoses. Okay, so not theoretically. That was a big word that I used so I could sound fancy, but they just won't block your view. There's no theory to it. I'll show you how it all works. <laughs> okay, so uh, down here you'll note that we do not have the chrome uh, baggage trim, but we do have the chrome handles. So both of these coaches are going to have power door locks that you can control with a key fob. You can control here with your security door, or you can control from the inside on your control panel. So those are nice in both cases. Uh, we have the optional uh, little refrigerator here. Now people laugh at this refrigerator, but honestly, I'll tell you what, this is the best idea we've had yet. So it does not require ice. Um, it's got tons of capacity. It comes all the way out past the slide so you can access your cold beverages, right? And you can turn it into a freezer if you'd like. But what's so nice about this is this also leaves you room in this compartment for a traditional cooler. So for those of you that go camping a lot, it's a lot of times we're taking our cooler down to the riverside or somewhere else. And so it's nice to be able to have one that doesn't require ice and also one that you can put ice in and take out with you. I think that that's a really great feature. And I'm sorry that other awning blew in, John, because I know you don't like it when it's hot, but it is kind of nice to have this up. So as you can see, this is on a hydraulic strut here. So you can actually have this so it stays lower. Uh, what's really nice about this is it actually does block the sun. And you'll also note that this TV is at uh, camp chair height. So if you have your camp chairs out, a lot of times we'll have our um, Outlander fire pit out here underneath our two awnings. Uh, if you're doing that and you've got your you know living room set up here and you're watching television, you are at the right height. When the, when the televisions are in these sidewalls, it does become a little bit more like you need to have a bar stool to be at the correct height. So this is a nice, nice level. Uh, we've got the optional docking lights on both of these coaches. Again, that egress door. Uh, this coach also has the optional slide tray. So we're gonna measure this as well. Uh, these specs, by the way, are on your order guides, but for the sake of television, just over 26 inches on the slide tray. Uh, so that's a nice feature that you have here. And this is a thousand pound weight rated. And you'll see also that we have that really nice porcelain tile made in Italy uh, in both of these RVs. So Numar really spares uh, no expense when it comes to making sure that these coaches are quality. So it's very important for me that I explain to you, um, buying a coach 
that has an 8.9 liter ISL. I mean, we all know Dutch Stars are the number one selling uh, coach in all of North America. This coach has that same engine. And again, with it having it up in the front, as opposed to the rear, you're getting all of that cool air coming as you're driving down the road. That's really where you see the difference in performance of this engine, and you can have it in this Superstar. Now you'll note here, I've already opened uh, this rear compartment here for our auxiliary garage. <laughs> That's hard to say. But I wanna show you here that Star Foundation raising this coach up off of the chassis rail so this is one of the things, you've got this drivetrain coming through this coach, but with the Star Foundation, whether it be in a Class A or in a Super C, we don't ever have our floor sitting on top of that chassis rail. And that's gonna give you a quieter ride going down the road. It's going to give you a more comfortable driving coach. It's going to give you a better center of gravity. It's also gonna give you less pile popping and cracking. It's also, as we can all think about this, you know, when you buy an SUV, when you get up off the ground versus a sedan, like you might be looking at a manufacturer of BMW or a Mercedes or you know a Honda, whatever it is. As soon as you turn that into an SUV, that ride gets a little bit nicer. Same thing goes for the Superstar or any of our Class A's that have the Star Foundation. That just gives you a much nicer drive down the road. Now we'll have the same garage here in both models. Uh, this is a really fantastic feature. Uh, this is a lot of room. So this is giving you an additional, uh, up to this little line here, 52 inches. Am I right there? Yeah, 52 inches of additional storage or out to here, almost 58. So 57 and a half inches of additional long storage. If you're looking for the height, your clearance here is just about seven inches, but that's a lot of extra storage. And this holds all sorts of things, whether it be, we have extension cords up here, the aqua hot juice or the Oasis juice that you'll need to carry. There's a nice light up here. It's also keeps you covered. So I'm telling you, man, if you're a tailgating family, I know everyone makes fun of me, but take your RV stuff when you go camping. If you're tailgating, dude, set up shop right here, top shelf. I promise you one thing, you will be the number one best looking tailgater in the entire park if you do that. Now, I wanted to show you this big hitch down here. And I have the downsizer set up so we can take a look at that today. It does come with one. This coach is pre-wired for your uh, trailer. It's also pre-wired for your, uh, you would have to get a ping tank installed or a trailer brake if you wanted to have a tow vehicle behind this. And I have a really cool new, uh, new uh, trailer brake in the front seat of the Supreme Air to show you today. So here's that downsizer. So that's, this is what comes with the coach. So you've got two balls and a downsizer. I get this question a lot, so I thought I would go ahead and cover that today. But as you can see, tons of space here. Really nice to have that pass-through space where if you've got your you know, fly fishing rods or anything like that, paddleboard paddles, uh, you can either put them up top there or here through the center rear. And then we also have the optional buddy plug on this coach for your stacker or just to charge things. Lots of people have electric bikes these days. Okay, so as you can see here, great place to keep your gravity hose. Maybe a half of your, uh, your black water uh, pipe if you wanted to. I will use about half of ours. We, ours is a 20 foot, we keep 10 feet in there and a box of gloves. You've got a whole house water feature or water filter on both. You've got your hot and cold shower on both. You have your really nice power valves here as well. So great, beautiful water bay. You've got a power retractable water hose reel as well. And then here we have our generator. So you'll see there's gonna be a little bit of difference between these bays. One of the differences is going to be in where you put your uh, black water hose. So in this coach, we didn't show that to you, might as well go back. It's right here. So we've got our black water hose comes down here and here's your dump. And in the Supreme Air, we're going to have the SantaCon system. So wanna make sure, like I said, today's video is, it's, it's rough, man, trying to go through all this information. Um, for those of you who call me, uh, who send me text messages, who choose to shop at this location because of these videos, thank you so much for reaching out to us. Um, this is an 8K or 8,000 kilowatt generator. On the Supreme Air, it will be a 12,500 uh, watt generator. You can start both of them from the outside. 
Um, and like, so for me, I have, this is what I have. I have a superstar, a 40 foot superstar. Um, I have the eight six volt batteries. Um, I have uh, three. So this coach, oh, I didn't show that to you in the panel. You guys watch that panel above the door. It had the little green box with the four solar panels installed from Numar in it. In this coach, we have four 110 watt solar panels. And the one next door, I'm gonna install four 190 watt panels. So I can install four panels on either one of these coaches. If you get them from the factory, they're more expensive and they're 110 watt panels, but you can walk on them. I don't know who spends a lot of time walking on the top of their coach, but hey, you can. If you have them installed here at our dealership, we install four panels or three uh, for that are 190 watt panels. So a lot more solar for you. Uh, but I have this setup. So I have this eight battery setup and the eight kilowatt generator, the three solar panels actually. And honestly, I don't ever have a problem. Uh, my refrigerator stays on during the day without being plugged in. Um, we'll top off our batteries at night by turning our generator on for a few minutes. Uh, here's your hydraulic pump for your step, as well as for your hydraulic leveling jacks. There's your dual loop Oasis Chinook hydronic heating system. And then here's your 50 foot power cord on a power reel, as well as your single inverter and your optional surge protector. Now, please do keep in mind that in this coach, one of the main differences is that this coach on the, on the left, this Supreme Air has the optional lithionic batteries with the two inverters. So in my RV, if I wanna run my air conditioner, I have to run my generator. In this coach, you can actually run the central air conditioner. It's powered by its own inverter. So it gives you the ability to run one air conditioner without having your generator on. You can run that going down the road. Or if you're track side, it's nice. It can keep you cool. For me, it's a non-issue. Typically, I'm boondocking. And if I need to turn my generator on to get my, cool, my coach cooled down a little bit, we'll run it for a half hour or so, turn the air conditioning on high, and then just turn it back off. But for those of you that are trackside for long periods of time and that run your generator all day, keep in mind the Supreme Air might be a nice feature for you. And you'll also have that option uh, to put those, uh, that, that second set of lithio lithionics batteries and heated floors in this coach in 2024. It's just a lot of money. Like when I say a lot, like over $20,000 for the base package and a lot more for that third battery. So keep in mind, like I said, top boxing yourself can come out really expensive in my industry and it doesn't need to. You just need good counsel uh, to make good decisions. Again, really nice seats, uh, pneumatic or air, air uh, what do they call air this? Ride. No, no, these are the air ride seats, Jody. What do they call it when you have the little air bladders in the back? Lumbar? Yeah, lumbar, air, air lumbar right there. And then heated seats. Thanks, Jody. Jody's my favorite. He helps me with all sorts of stuff. Now also, again, one of the nice features of the Superstar is having a dual fill tank so you can put two nozzles in at the same time. It's also not the nicest thing because it's a total PIA to have to go back and forth and put both of them in, but it does go pretty fast. So I guess it's a little more work, but in half the time, I guess, I don't know, whatever. Okay, so let's talk about these engine differences. 8.9 liter ISL Cummins engine, right? So this is gonna be 1,150 foot pounds of torque. Please keep in mind, folks, I have people say all the time, oh, is that the 400 horsepower engine? Well, sure it is. It's a 400 horsepower engine on a Ventana. It's a 450 horsepower engine on a Dutch Star. But in the Superstar, it's 360 horsepower. It's the same engine. Difference in torque rating though, is this has got 1,150 foot pounds of torque, but it doesn't derate because it's in the front staying cool. That's why a lot of people that do heavy haul towing like to have this front engine. They also think that the access point for working on it is easier. Please keep in mind, there are so many components in this coach that need to be serviced beyond your filters. You would really be benefited by having your annual service done here at TransWest, where we have both house and chassis available to you when you come in for service. Um, okay, so here's here's our one big dog right now let's go ahead and cross the street over here <laughs> that was our general sales manager and our sales manager hello guys okay so here's our dd13 so this dd13 is going to have a 505 horsepower output now this is an interesting feature so 
505 horsepower output, and then on top of it, 1,850 foot-pounds of torque. This is a beast. Now keep in, keep in mind, a lot of people are like, oh, I need to have that 605. It's got the same torque rating. Uh, you know, it, it's, and it's also in, in the rear of the coach. In other words, better performance at higher hauling temperatures when you have better breathability. So this would be, for those of you towing heavy things, this coach was manufactured and engineered for those of you who have stackers out here. And we didn't put the ISX in there on purpose. We put in the DD13. This is gonna get our great fuel efficiency, our great torque rating, and plenty of power. This is, again, a 30,000 pound towing capacity. Um, still your Freightliner chassis. This is the M2112 versus the M2106. So let's take a look at what the differences are here. So when we close these up, we're going to see that one of them is significantly larger looking than the other. So this is gonna be a medium versus large hood. So you can see definitely a little bit difference in terms of its prowess. If you're looking to make that impression with our caliber nine grill, our nice Numar badge in the front, this DD13 is a really beautiful truck. You also see here our on-guard collision mitigation system. So for those of you that want to put your coach on cruise control and take your foot off of the brake pedal and the accelerator, I think you're crazy. I drive mine all the time. I'm always engaged. I don't think I use, I have these features on my nicer cars at home. For my truck, I'm constantly engaged on the road. But if you think that this is something that would benefit you and that you don't like that standard cruise control, the Supreme Air is gonna be standard with on-guard uh, collision mitigation system. Also, you'll note we've got these nice three-piece bumpers on both the Superstar and the Supreme Air. Freightliner does this to help uh, allow you to uh, mitigate the amount of repair costs that you have by having extra bumper components that actually come on and off. Uh, you also note that we have all of our little lights throughout the coach. So and when you're looking for your safety features, you wanna make sure if you've got your door open, you've got reflectors in the right spot. Uh, Freightliner does a fantastic job on both the M2106 and the M2112 chassis. Uh, we're gonna talk a little bit about tire size here. So we have these big tires. These are not uh, normal size tires. These are 365s. As you can see, these are big, beefy tires. Both are uh, R22.5s, but this is a 315 versus a 365. So when you're trying to figure out where these costs come in and why this componentry is a little more expensive, these are some of those things that you'll note. Now, both of these, co both of these coaches will have Alcoa, uh, nice stainless steel rims, uh, aluminum rims. Uh, those are going to, the aluminum rims give you a quieter ride going down the road. Uh, both of these coaches have these LED lights throughout. And then here you can actually see the water line. Uh, in both of these RVs, they're 13 feet, two inches tall. There's, a, there's basically like a uh, patio up top that keeps you from having water, light, water drip lines come through. And then all that water is channeled through those little drip lines to come out the bottom of the coach. So here's our Chinook system up front again as well as our hydraulic leveling system. As you can see, it's got a nice classy cover on it. That's what you get when you spend the extra uh, Skrilla for the big dog, a little more fancy. Oh, take a look at this. So now you could have your top shelf party with all your mixers and your television all in the same location as opposed to having to go out back. Um, I prefer the TV in the lower bay, but for those of you who like it up high, here she is. Either way, for tailgating, this coach is super awesome. Um, now, I do have the carefree awning package. In this case, it's going to be a power awning package as opposed to the carefree and the superstar. So just keep in mind, I have those deployed so we can compare those. Again, plenty of room for a cooler as well as a refrigerated. Uh, oh, and look at their little drain line right here. So fun to actually be able to point these little things out to you guys when you're on uh, online watching us. And then this little compartment right here. Don't know exactly what that compartment's for, but I'm sure you can make good use of it. More docking lights, of course. And then, oh, this is one of those things that we need to measure. So 
So as you can see, this slide tray in the rear of this coach, once again, when you add these extra feet, you get extra room. So this is gonna be 38 inches wide. So a little bit more space here in this slide. Uh, we still have our controls for our awnings right here outside as well as inside and on a remote. You've got 110 outlets underneath here. Your central vac is still underneath in the same compartment. And then a little more room back here into this pass-through. Should be kind of fun to be able to go back and forth between these two videos. Uh, for those that are you or that are really considering this project or product to compare them. Um, again, we have the rear garage deployed. Take a look at this hitch though. So the Voyager camera system is pre-wired. You've got your seven pin connector. You've got this huge ball and then you've got this adjustable uh, with your air ride already, uh, already linked in there. And then wait for it. This is insane. 77 inches uh, to the little gray strip, 84 inches, seven feet of storage underneath this 4530. Supreme Air. Again, 505 horsepower, 100 M2, 112. Plenty of room here for the party. Let me go ahead and close this bad boy up for the beauty shot at the end. And then let's just go through these drawers in the back. Again, optional bloody plug. 12.5 kilowatt quiet diesel generator. So lots and lots of power coming out of this coach. And again, this is charging 640 uh, lithium amp hours of battery. As I mentioned earlier, great place to keep a gray water uh, or a black water hose and some gloves, but not necessary to have as this coach has the SantaCon system so you don't really need that black water hose, but it's always good to have a backup. And then your attachments here, if you decide to use your gravity hose. And then also there's a grommet here so you can run your SantaCon out of this compartment. A little bit more fancy, a cold and hot water shower. You also are going to have a gray tank rinse as well as a black tank rinse. Um, digital valve can, or digital tank radio out as well. Again, all these things can be seen on your phone these days. So it's really changing uh, the game on this coach. Okay, so let's talk about the big difference here. So this is your twin screw. Um, so this twin screw is really what's going to give you the ability to lock up both the front and the rear and then side to side as well, giving you that four wheel traction. So if you've got a really heavy load and it's sandy or gritty or slick, you need to get out of there. This is going to give you that capacity not only to you know, be able to hold the 30,000 pounds, but actually to be able to move it as well. Another improvement is going to be in your braking system in this coach. So not only can it get you off the ground and pulling more efficiently, it also can help you in stopping more efficiently. So again, for those of you who are hauling really heavy stuff, this is why you buy a semi truck. Again, 50 foot power cord. Uh -oh. Losing my mics and my hair probably not a good idea um, and then another compartment right here for storage and then also we have our again two thousand two three thousand watt inverters so as you can see here these lithionics um, are 320 amp hour batteries there is a third compartment that would get you up to 960 amp hours of battery charge that would make you have more battery than the superstar if you don't do that this has got 640 amp hours. This has got 800 amp hours of storage in your lead acid batteries that you have in the Superstar. So both of these coaches, again, are very, very capable. But the big difference is going to be the fact that you can run your air conditioner in the other. So here's, we talked about this earlier, our 100 gallon tank, single fill. Your Oasis and your DEF are all right here. Uh, these two airlines are in a compartment right here underneath this camera on the Superstar, but you can still air up your tires. Uh, you still have all of your, all your same componentry, just different placement. And then as you can see, this is just a really huge tank and it covers the whole entire 
side of this coach. Here's that side camera. Uh, both of these coaches have the optional overhead 360 camera. And then again, we talked about these awnings being deployed. I'm gonna show you how we can change the pitch of these when we get inside. I just wanna show you here inside the front cab, since we looked at the front of the M2106, here's the M2112. A very similar, maybe a little more robust seat, but still heated seat, air ride. Uh, also, again, having its own air ride componentry, carbon fiber dash, it's a little nicer looking dash, but overall very similar coach uh, from the inside. Jody, let's go ahead, let's get you rocking and rolling inside. And open the door for you, sir. So again, this is a nice coach. This is a 4530. This is the bath and a half model in the 45 foot length for Numar. And this coach has no carpet on the slides. This is an all tile floor. And I wanted to just show you what it looks like on the inside. I've got to fix my mics, you guys. Got a little tangled up today. Okay, so. Avin, can you hear me? Is that, is that mic still good? Okay, good. All right, so this is the coach closed. I wanted to show that to you. I know we had the guest earlier asking us about refrigerator access. Absolutely, so you have access to all of those things. And also you have access to your restroom here. So these things are all accessible with your slides closed. And now I'm gonna go ahead and put these slides out. Jody, go ahead and step back so they can see how this goes out. Uh, this is a little different. So we have electric slides on the Superstar, on the Supreme Air. This full wall slide is on a hydraulic lift. And what that does is it allows us to have an all tile floor. Now this is a three zone heated floor. It's all tile. Um, there's some really beautiful uh, little stylistic things that we'll talk about on this coach. So you can see this electric slide kind of nestles into its pocket, but this slide here very slowly will go down and you can see that hydraulic lift working to settle this coach uh, into its position. So this is the reason that we can have an all tile floor in this coach, it's called more floor. Now you could also have the optional um, theater seats here. This is an 87 inch long high to bed sofa. Just for the sake of time, I'm not going to show you the full sofa today. I think Steve did a video on this last week. Hopefully he showed you that bed. Uh, here's your overhead storage. So I do think that this is important to showcase. This coach has storage the whole way down the port side. This is a lot of space in this coach. So tons and tons of storage in the Supreme Air. Another feature that we talked about looking at, I'm going to go ahead and show you how we can adjust this awning. So as you can see, I can keep the sun out, but raise the awning height up. So now I've got the sun out of the coach and I've got the awning height set so that when I'm sitting down here, it's not blocking my view. So this is certainly something worth noting on this coach. Another big difference on this coach is going to be the way that we display or we deploy our shades. So as you can see, I've got these nightshades coming down, right? Everything comes down with a touch of a button. So this is gonna be a little bit different than what we have in the Superstar where you have to manually deploy your slit, your shades. So that's a really nice feature to have power shades. This is a cute little jackknife bed. So you've got that big queen size bed. And then if you've got dogs that have their own place that they like to sit on the couch, oh my God, all the Frenchies in the world would love this. I could have four dog beds on here. I only have three Frenchies right now, but if I had this coach, Honey, we should get a Supreme Air and a Frenchie. I really want an Oreo cookie colored Frenchie. Um, but so that's cool. Both sound bars, nice. As you can see, we've got the high gloss wood in this coach, so a little uh, more, uh, I don't know, I guess pomp and circumstance. This is a little more dressy looking RV, um, but still really nicely finished coach. Also same, uh, fully extendable, uh, kitchen table put this bad way out so you get the table leg there 
You also get the permanent uh, buffet, a little higher placement. So just little nuances that add to the panache of this coach. So if you were to control, if you were to compare uh, this RV to a Class A, this would be the equivalent to a Mountaineer, and the Superstar would be the equivalent to a Ventana. If you're looking for that comparison, this is a great place to keep some Pimpernel placemats back here, underneath, and then. Again, we're just comparing a few little nuances, a little bit bigger kitchen. When you get that extra four feet, where does it go? So you've got opposing couches. Uh, your dinette is on port side as well as your couch. And you have a 79 inch long uh, kitchen counter. Uh, you've got a little bit bigger sink here. So still dual basin sink, still stainless steel undermount. But as you can see, you've got more of a vegetable size versus a traditional size sink underneath. Uh, you've got the same Whirlpool microwave and convection oven. I love this little cabin up here for spices. And then here we also have quite a bit of overhead storage with a really long pullout. Um, so as you can see, very similar, a little bit different. Uh, that extra four feet though, there's a few other places you'll find it and I'll show that to you in just a second. Let's just look underneath. I know we talked earlier about dishwasher. So we've got a dishwasher in both. Big silverware drawer as well. Three full extension drawers here next to the dishwasher and right next to the cooktop. Um, I think this is really pretty. I love the way they do that little uh, bevel glass that keeps you from getting any kind of splatters onto your couch area. All soft clothes, again, solid maple. A little more finish underneath in your cabinetry as well. Lots of scrubbies. Like this is like a dream for me. I love my scrubbies. Um, I get those little baby bottle washers, so I don't have to touch this sponge. A little extra drawer space, and then another additional extra cabinet. So this would be a great junk drawer, I feel like. Um, but anyway, so those are the differences in the kitchen until we get here. Here we have a huge amount of difference. So we had seven drawers in the other. These are still pushed to release. They're a little bit wider, um, but you'll note you've got the five here, but this is so handy. If you wanted to put like a big cooking pot down here, you could put your big cooking pot there and then you can just move this over Oh, got to put that thing in the hole. There we go. So you can put this over and have a little bit of room for a, cook, a baking pan and then a larger pot. So this is a really nice separation rack. That is not how that goes, Jody. I know he's laughing at me. He's like, Katie, come on, get your act together. So anyway, so you can put some, some baking trays here and then put your larger pots here, maybe a frying pan on this side. So this is just a great place to keep pots. They changed that in 2023. And then look at this additional space. I mean, I can just see rice cooker, co uh, coffee pot, all sorts of stuff going in here. So this is when you have an extra four feet, what you get. You also get this. Take a look at this bathroom. This is such a nice mid bath. So again, in this coach, both of these are gonna be a bath and a half model. Um, but instead of being 40 feet, 10 inches long, this is 44 feet, 11 inches long. And then we still have all of our same features like central back and our step cover. So both coaches will have this nice handy dandy step cover. Now keep in mind the difference between these class A's and these super C's is you've got one entrance here and then you've got two entrances at the front. So that's also very nice. And then we're gonna go ahead and Put that step cover back down so we can get out later. Um, both of these coaches have the optional awning package. The high, oh, I almost turned that on. Uh, they also have the hydraulic leveling system. Um, both of these coaches have power door locks underneath to get in and out of your uh, basement doors. Also power lock at the front. Um, both of these have been equipped with uh, the WineGuard Razor uh, satellite. So this is just for your regular analog um, antenna. And what it does is it actually does 
Uh, so we'll get, oh look at that's so cool looking. So it's, it's going to search and tell you how many stations you have in locally. So there's 17 stations that it has locally. So all of these things are really similar between a Superstar and a Supreme Air. So like I said, you don't necessarily need to top box yourself, but there's definitely a lot of difference in the quality of the coach. Having in-floor heat is a standard feature throughout this nice roomy bathroom. And one of the things, if you look at this, so these mirrors on the, on the uh, Supreme Air have this great backlight. The other thing that's really interesting about them is that you can take your ceiling lights. So if you want to show that ceiling light there, Jody, I'm going to go ahead, you can dim them. So right here from your control panel, you can change how bright it is inside of your coach. So some really nice little features. Again, nice big drawer here. Lots of storage up top. Good place to keep the TP down below. Some hand towels. So like I said, really, really similar and really, really different. You've really got to kind of figure out, you know, what your price point is, what you're hoping to spend, but more importantly, how much you have to tow because that's going to be the big difference here. Now we have, of course, our nice pocket drawer separating the front to the rear of the coach. We talked earlier about how we would have the 72 by 80 King uh, bed. This one's got a little bit more of a fancy mirrored uh, headboard, but it's still mirrored. So it's giving you that extra space appearance. And then we talked a little bit about how in the, in the Superstar, you have the, the plugs are on the outside up here, where here they're actually on the inside so you can run those cords out. The benefit of that, of course, is that you can leave them plugged in and just pull them inside when you're going down the road. But not too much of a difference, just a nice feature. And when you're looking at these coaches, as you can see, you know, really similar layouts. So these big wardrobes, once again, same lighting mechanisms. These are a little bit wider on the 44 foot, of course, versus the 40 foot. And then you'll see here, we have these, uh, these are your silver leaf panels. So again, instead of having that big 10 inch display, you've got a 10 inch display up front, but you also have things like coach mode, your climate stuff, all of your shades can be controlled here. Um, you also have uh, your generator control, so manual start and stop. Everything is on this nice control panel and there's two of these in the coach. And again, all of these uh, things, floor heat, uh, are on both RVs, but you have a little nicer interface when you move into the silver leaf system because you've got these touch panels throughout the RV. Now also the shower is just a little more roomy, but one of my favorite things is it's an all tile shower. It has this really groovy linear drain at the bottom. The faucets are fancy. Again, it has that teak bench, but I love the uh, shampoo, conditioner, and body wash dispenser. I also think it's really nice to have these little extra shelves to keep your, you know, razor on, your soap, your scrubby, all those things. Um, and then this one has the assist handle, which is an optional feature. Um, but I know that a lot of people like that. So um, as one of my clients most recently said, for us old people, he was not old. I thought it was pretty funny. Uh, so here is your rear closet. So a little additional storage space here, safe as well and then nice full extension additional drawers. So as you can see, we've got these three extra drawers here. But then we have these drawers, which are definitely a little bit deeper, about the same width, but you get an extra drawer in the Supreme Air. Again, all that nice soft clothes, tons of space underneath here for your towels and linens. But one thing you don't get is a place to keep those Tide Pods. So I guess you'd have to use one of those drawers for that. But Splendid stackable washer and dryer once again, egress door, and then um, we can lock and unlock this. We also have a vented window here, and then our robe hook is up here as well. So really, really cool uh, coach, lots of room, very, very comfortable living space. Um, definitely a little roomier when you get into this 44 foot coach, especially when you're coming out of a class A, you know, keep in mind that big engine up front uh, definitely changes the dimensions of the interior of the coach. So this 4530 
um, is a really nice uh, coach for those of you that are looking to have something that is going to haul a little bit better, who might be, you know, if you're looking for a coach that looks a little more badass, I mean, this is definitely a head turner. People get into parks, they see a Supreme Air like this or a superstar roll in and they're like, holy mackerel, what is this? If you're looking for that, Newmark can give that to you and still give you the refinement that you're used to finding in your class A. So let's go ahead and put these blinds up, Jody, don't you think? So raise the shades. Oh, that's the day shades. There we go, get these night shades up. So again, power shades, standard heated floor, uh, mobile eye, uh, opposing couches, same televator, really nice uh, carbon fiber dash, uh, but still very similar motif, a little fancier seat. As you can see, these are a little more decorative. And then that's, there's that Toe Pro Elite. Uh, I'm really excited about this. This is something that we just started carrying here at the store, but for those of you that do have a Super C looking for a tow package, it's just a nice little dial. Um, this is a really cool system. We carry these here. Of course, TransWest doesn't only have a uh, service department uh, for chassis. We also have a parts department for chassis. So this is a great place to come in and do your shopping. You can get everything you need all in one location. Um, our walks uh, or demonstrations are typically about um, two and a half to three hours. Uh, we have a gentleman by the name of Bill Habercorn who does a fantastic job at after the sale support. And then we've got Wade Phoenix who does our orientation walks. Um, I know we talked earlier about showing you what the slide looks like when it's deployed outside and it's full paint. So you can just see how nice and classy that looks. Uh, again, the Superstar versus the Supreme Air. I mean, you really got to pick. There's a lot of benefits to both. They're both fantastic RVs. Uh, these are both available for sale. This is stock number 5N221704. Again, 5N221704. And then this is stock number 5N221701. Again, 5N221701. And as usual, um, coming to you here live, not on a Monday, it was a holiday yesterday. I hope you had a great Labor Day. Um, I'm Katie O'Neill. I'm here at TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. Let me know how I can get you out on the road and camping. And thank you so much for spending your morning with us.